Okay, Morale, you can stop praying that I'll pronounce your name right. I got it. I realized after I finished recording the last episode. Anyway, hey, hey, Klaus here. Welcome back for more Chrono Trigger. Oh my god, I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm surprised I didn't make that joke sooner. Anyway, the last episode, we made it through Lab 16. And this time, it's the Ares Dome. Go in here and see what's up, okay. I don't really believe there's anything too special here, it's just... No. It's just the same as any other moment. Hey! What have you got? Who are you? Okay, oh. You the... Where are you from? Giving laboratories to the rest. What? Hey! You got people who cross the runes. Say again? You're joking. So there are people who can be those freaking mutants. Yeah, those mutants are somehow all alive here. And I don't get how there's any um, kind of life outside these tunnels, but hey, whatever. And he's gonna bring us some food. I wouldn't bet on that. Let's move it down to the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Yeah, I had a feeling that'd be the case. What do you got? Did you really come from the dome to the west? Yes. I see. Nothing really cares. Screw you too, buddy. A time portal? What in the... Well, I guess we can get our own information using our computer. I... I guess the concept of time travel wouldn't be too apparent to them. Yeah, I'm not buying it. This is, uh, yeah, I'm not buying it. You'll see here in a moment. Pardon me. I'm done. I'm the descendant of the director of this info center. In the basement, there's a huge computer and a storage center for food. But we can't get through because the robot guards is a pity. Robot guards! Yeah. I don't think I need to explain where we are since that pretty much gives it away. Yeah, we're in the future. There's an old factory site called Protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of lunatic robots in the area. Yeah, that just says it all. What do you got? So you can reach the containment. And to the south of the sewer access, the stay off Death Peak. This is an area we're going to need to remember for later, much later. Just trust me on this. Can't do anything there yet. Let's see, there's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Do the crust? Dynamite won't budget. Okay, I don't know why you were trying in the first place, but hey, whatever. Money? Yeah. Well, that's a light in my inventory anyway. I don't know what use you would have for money, but... Oh, well. So you got the auto gun here. Just basically, just the, the, exact, the exact same shop that we've um, had before. And crap, I didn't take off the berserker like I said I would. Yeah, the Berserker was fun to use for a while, but I just want to get rid of it. So many, it'd do you good. This was a guy. You know what? Screw you, you're boring. I just want to get away from you. I, can, I, can, I don't think I quite need it, but I'll just use it anyway, just because it's here. He's <laughs> dumb. Yeah, don't mind me just drinking soda as I play this. Yeah, not the best idea. Are you gonna go down below? Of course. But no one's ever returned from there. Gotta try, right? Dot 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 dot. Just to see such spirited young people for a change. Careful now and come back alive. 
Well, since no one has, no, no one else has gotten past the Revenant mutant or sorry, I'm sorry, the Revenant machines, we have to give it a try, right? Okay, this sparkly, sparkly thing, and the gig, is actually the, the control here. This, this, we need a password to get through. So basically, this is inaccessible to us right now. The cons uh, this console controls the passageway. Yeah, this is it's pretty much the same thing. We need password. Don't know why there's two um, consoles are the exact same thing, but oh well. Yeah, we can. We're pretty high up here. We, there's there's a bunch of pipes and everything down below, and there's something that's like a statue with a memo warning. Anyone within the facility is in the stock room will be attacked. Okay. The warriors of Ramon feel no attack! I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> There's even an alarm going on of, going off and everything. Okay. If I remember this area right, if you just stand still for a moment and do nothing. There's gonna be a few enemies here that will just lunge out at you, so I'm gonna wait here for a few minutes to see if my memory is on point. Oh, it's if you access an IS. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, yes! Protein and buggers! These are real buggers! Haha! <laughs> no. Yes, these are some of the Revenant's Revenant machines. Attacked by, attack by moving object. Yay. Okay, if I'm, okay, off memory, if they're around, these guys will neutralize any bugs in the, in, in the immediate area. Which can be kind of actually annoying, believe it or not. Because if an enemy is killed by another enemy, you do not get the experience for that fight. Well, at least off of that enemy, I should say. Yes, that, that I believe is just their counter that, yeah, we just fire a laser, laser as a counter. Unless I crit him and kill him, of course, that, that works too. This <laughs> fantastic. I knew there were other machines here if you read it here. This, this is a fight I don't see noted all that often in LPs. It's kind of a real shame to be perfect. I don't know that to be frank. Just some experience that is easily missed. There we go. Not bad at all. I fight took a quite a bit of HP off me, so I'm gonna wanna heal up here. Alright, we are setting pretty. Let's try to get some food. Or not! Cause guess who guess what showed up? Executing program. I don't know what's going on. Morale. Let's go. Yeah, her name was like morale. It's like, you know, like raising the morale of your um, teammates or um, army or so, and such. It's, it's really clever name. Anyway, the guardian here. Don't attack it head on. Because if you do, it'll counter with a um, delta attack. It's basically just. Um, Combine elements of attack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeti. It's it's uh, it's a counter attack that that targets the entire party, which sucks out loud. I believe it's also resistant to flame. But I can do it here just to double check. Okay, I'm focusing specifically on the um bits for now, because you do need to take them out. First and foremost, okay. Got to take out this bit. Bits don't really have a lot of HP on them, and the fire. Ugh. Yeah, that is attack from the guardian itself. It uses one of its bits to charge the attacks. I charge the attack. Excuse me. Ah, uh, can't talk today. Tonight, rather. Okay. That leaves the um. Well, Guardian by itself. 
it does have a countdown which it all revives bits so if you're gonna attack it just yeah it's all right I mean the flame yeah I kind of confused the thing with one of its bits so yeah this it, yeah it is a unifier okay we're gonna go ahead and do do an oral roll here just to be just to be on the safe side I guess if you want to call it that or just call me overly paranoid. Eh, whatever. Okay. Can I? Yes, I can! Alright. Yeah, just flash the screen and both fists come back. Yeah, that, that's 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 great revival. Just... Flash a bit of lights! Yeah, whatever. Okay, unfortunately, if, if anything, this, this is not a difficult fight by any means. It's just, it's just one of the more time-consuming fights. Just cause, just cause, ah, I don't know. just cause of how often it, it it gets to revive its bits, and the fact that the main guardian itself has a lot of key. And to be frank, I'm kind of find this to be a little bit of a disappointing boss because of that. I mean, it's one a tie that does a lot of damage is um that where it kind of uses bits to charge. Other than that, it's not really all that strong. Yeti. I just want to do a standard oral because ah aura, because only Chrono needs the um healing. So to be just you no know, really paranoid, whatever you want to call me. Okay, hopefully it's almost done. Okay, it's down to three. Come on, Guardian, you know you wanna die. Yes, if it doesn't matter this one, I guess I could show that counterattack. Okay, revive the rise rise his bits. Okay. This is why you wanna attack with both his bits, bits active. Three going together for a Delta attack! Yeah! That is why you want to hold off on attacking while it bits around, right? Because, well, I just love to demonstrate stuff too much, apparently. It means endangering my whole life. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm such a nice person, aren't I? Okay, took out that bit. You know, I'm kind of surprised they're not 8 bit. <laughs> okay, okay, that was terrible. Okay, it does have a different counterattack if, if I'm not mistaken, so I just want to see what that is. Amplifier counterattack. Yeah. At least it's not the Delta attack that does bad mob damage to everyone in the party. But still. Yeah, I know we got a lot of HP, but still, how are we not dead yet? Breakdown! Alright, the Guardian's done! Don't worry, Guardian. Your death was brought to you by Mountain Dew, the best soda ever. Yeti! Kind of looking at all. Oh, everyone got a level up from that. Very nice. Oh, real. Something reeks. Everything's completely rotten. Refrigeration must have failed. Chrono, look! Passed away long ago, I suppose. It's only something. What do you suppose this is? Looks like some kind of seed. Seed? Do you suppose it could grow in a place like this? I don't think so, Morel, but hey. 
I suppose stranger miracles have happened. If we go over here, mid ether. That's eh, not too bad of an item, I guess. So I don't really think there's anything else around here. Other than, well, something that this guy had. His following is written on a solid sheet of paper. The rat is the one that just attacked you. No, it's the secret of this dome. Catch it. You really want to talk to this guy immediately after getting the seed. Because... It's not just Russell and Dixie. Ha. There. There it is. Wait, run away. Okay. You need to make these turns perfectly while you're running. I've already failed. Yay. Uh Wow That really sucks. Okay. This is not the easiest thing in the world to do, unfortunately. Gotcha! I give up. I'll tell you everything. Squeak! Press and hold L button and R1 buttons. Then press the X button to access the secret passage. Squeak! Don't make any mistakes or y'all be sorry. Yeah, press the scroller buttons and then press X. I don't think there's any way that you can actually do this without taking on the Guardian and catching the mouse. If you can, show me a video response to that. Because I would love to see it. There you go, that means that. I do believe this is actually required to do. Okay, I wasn't, didn't mean to activate that fight, but okay, whatever. It does have a couple of, it does have a couple of new enemies. Well, a new enemy, actually. That's what I mean right there. It can take all these rats in one hit. So if you want the um Okay, at least I got Chrono there. So if you want the experience on the rat as well, take out the bugger first, that's all I can say. The rats themselves have 45 HP to be exact. Now the reason I bring this up is the buggers do have enough attack power to potentially take a moment and blast. Meaning it's not exactly easy to get full experience off of the uh, off of those guys. And what really sucks is I'm really low on uh, tonics. Like as far as some um, I mean goes I've got four minute tonics which I don't know if it's gonna last me down this area. Oh well. Oh, oh I forgot, I forgot that item. I forgot that item over there. I forgot that item. Yeah, I'm treasure obsessed. <laughs> you might as well call me Olimar. Oh! Okay, no. I don't mean to bash on Olimar. Yeah. These. Ridiculously un creatively named bugs aren't too happy about that. I think they're gonna be angry with me, um I think I'm gonna stop myself there because Well, I don't wanna spoil I'll spoil a really, really fun real time strategy game and damn A game that I might end up helping in the future, but I don't know for sure if I will. Let's just sneak around you guys, because I don't want to get involved in too many fights. Speaking of... Is this new to me? I'm going to say that it is. 
No, it wasn't. It was just an enemy that we've already fought before. What be? On the plus side, Meryl just learned a new, a new tech from the out. I, I shouldn't say learned, but yeah. That, what that be doing, Meryl? <laughs> oh my God! You just she, she was just tangling with um that robot's a foot. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Take out the bugger meal. Okay, thank goodness, okay. Provoke! Yeah! That's meant to kill- yeah, that's meant to chaos enemy. Yeah! Well, the, uh, well, the attack, well, well, the attack aim is provoked, so I can't be surprised, but still. <laughs> Honestly, kind of find it a little bit funny. <laughs> it's like, bah, bah, bah. Whatever. Anyway, over here, there's nothing. Yeah, I just wanted to show that there's actually nothing over here. You would think this is where they would put an item or something, or a sparkly workly, as I like to say. No, there's just nothing over there. It. I forgot there were two shadows over here. It was decent experience, though, but yeah. And before I go picking, picking even more fights that I don't, I don't necessarily need, I believe it's over here that we need to go. And there's that door, and there's another one of those doors that we can't do anything with, so we're just gonna ignore that. So this is the info center. Good, the computer is still original. If we want to search on time warps, we might find our gate. Here, got it. East of Ares Dome. That would be the protodome, I believe. If to look, uh, I'm beginning to think you can find anything with this device. Let's see what does this button do? Nineteen nine eighty. Original record of the day of Avos. Nineteen 